of surfing what happens is like you know we go out and we search for waves that's what we do we always want to go find something new and go out with your friends get away from it all kind of you know just break away from that day-to-day -day city life <laughs> Uh, it's been really cool, you know, in the car. Um, it's probably my favorite place in the whole world. You just can drive anywhere, park anywhere, and pretty much surf anywhere if you have the balls to do it, for sure. Yeah, it's been amazing to be in such a beautiful place and, yeah, just in the middle of such incredible, raw, beautiful nature and just huts and no signal and yeah, no distractions from the world. Yeah, so we're pretty much just here on the Transca, myself, Emma and Evo, just cruising around looking for waves kind of off the beaten track a bit. Especially in these kind of places, you're never just walking down to the beach, but you've got to kind of spend your time driving around. I mean, today we've driven a fair, fair ways to find what we're looking for. not your everyday easy run-of-the-mill trip it's more of an adventure most of the places you're not even driving on a road it's like massive grassy hills when you're falling off an edge as you come to the one corner and the waves are pumping. Surfing is like one of those few things where there's just no rules, you know what I mean? It's like you can go out and do whatever you want. If you want to go straight and do a handstand on every wave, then that's fine. You can do that. And I think it's just all about fun and just being able to go out there and get away from all the drama and all the nonsense on land for a bit. Clears your head. Yeah, surfing the Transcar, I feel like it's really special because I mean the ocean's like it's really raw, like the raw power and, and everything else in between and it would be really cool to come to these places, surf really powerful waves and yeah and just be very humbled by pure pureness of nature. All the roads in Transkai, it's definitely um, gravel roads with massive potholes but we kind of had a long drive along the gravel road and then basically just up cliffs and along the side and edge of cliffs which is pretty petrifying. Basically, I grew up in Port St. John's, so the Transkai is pretty much home to me. So yeah, it's been really cool, you know, like just literally through surfing, like it's like this kind of opportunities come about, you know, drive around the Kai, pros and everyone else, like really cool crew. So yeah, it's just basically like just a big privilege to be part of surfing and yeah, as an African dude, it's really cool. Yeah, we're just cruising on our way now to go check out some waves in Coffee Bay with the crew and uh, go see what's happening there.
always pretty cool walking through Kyle's on your way to a surf and it's kind of been like that at most surf spots we've been to. Um, and the cows are pretty intimidating, but I'd say the pigs are more intimidating. I got growled at by one yesterday when I tried to touch it. We just uh, had a sick little surf in Coffee Bay now and uh, on our way to Hole in the Wall and it's absolutely insane around here. So oh, there's the hole. hole. Sketchiest moment was definitely holding the wall. Yeah, we surfed between the two mountains, so the holding the wall and the one next to it. It was just like really, really crazy. It was like dry rock, dry rock, deep drop off, and we were kind of sitting in between them, dancing around. So it was a little bit weird. Probably 80% of the time surfing with Ricky. He doesn't like to surf the spots that are surf spots. He wants to go surf at the nearly die on rock slab shallow spots. It was hard, like you were paddling into waves and it was sucking you onto the rock and then you're trying to get up over another rock. In between that cliff and this cliff and there are rocks everywhere. You don't often get to surf those kind of little interesting waves. I mean, you can always go and surf the points and it's sick. But how often do you get to surf hole in the wall? That's like, epic. We just all need to appreciate what we have. I mean, Indonesia is not as cool as Transkai. Everywhere we've been in Transkai is beautiful. I've loved every minute of it, actually. Let us know what you think in the comments below. We'd love for you to join our community by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.